हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रसाद मदीलम कंटिन्यू मै क्लास ऑन बायोलॉजी फॉर इंजीनियर्स मॉड्यूल थ्री दिस इज द बायोलॉजी फॉर इंजीनियर्स मॉड्यूल थ्री क्लास बायोलॉजी फॉर इंजीनियर्स दैट इज फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस फिल्म बी बी ओ सी फोर जीरो सेवन मॉड्यूल थ्री अडाप्टेशन ऑफ एनाटॉमिकल प्रिंसिपल फॉर बायो इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन विच ब्रेन आर सी पी ओ सिस्टम ऑलरेडी कवर आई एस कैमरा सिस्टम आज एक्सप्लेन हार्ट टास्क पम्प सिस्टम आलो कवर्ड टू क्वेश्चन ईच टू फोर सिक्स क्वेश्चन कवर्ड नौ टू मोर क्वेश्चन लंग्स आज प्यूरीफिकेशन सिस्टम किडनी आज फिल्ट्रेशन सिस्टम दिस रिमेनिंग सो लेट अस सी लंग्स आज प्यूरीफिकेशन सिस्टम हाउ दि नाचुरल लंग प्यूरीफिकेश प्यूरीफिकेशन इज इन लंग्स दि ब्लड प्यूरीफिकेशन how the oxygen is added to that that will see the biology part and as well as the engineering part the technological part how such systems can be developed mimicking the lung or preparing artificial lung okay so is it yes we are reached okay so this is the topic okay that is pumping heart oh yeah we reached so uh, this is the image which i used in uh, my previous year class this also used the same thing okay ecmo i have changed it because i referred this particular uh, uh, reference and uh, the artificial lung so so i have changed i referred this particular uh, website detail is there and uh, even uh, the uh, oxygen concentrator also changed so these are the different uh, uh, technological advancements is done now how it how a computer science student engineer can take it uh, for the making it uh, connecting to how the normal lung work in our biological system connecting to the information passed by brain everything is controlled by brain because cpu <laughs> the brain is the cpu so based on brain's instruction the lungs has to has to work so artificial lung has to work so in the artificial lung or artificial whatever they do prepare it needs a lot of computing knowledge to make it to so that the signal which the brain gives it should understand it the code it and convert it so that the machine part the artificial part will do the work according accordingly that's why this particular syllabus is introduced so that hello computer science students you have work to do to tell you that these are the you need to understand more if you are interested to work in uh, with uh, modern uh, computing uh, uh, modern computing world modern uh, modern uh, uh, job opportunities if you have then you should understand this okay so the question is framed based on uh, that particular field uh, which i connected more advanced uh, compared to previous years study material this study material is more on to computer science engineer computer science engineering side and less on uh, biological part previous year all that biology everything was explained uh, because we don't know what to, to teach uh, exactly so everything was explained even uh, connected to the computer science stream here the biology part is almost 50% not even 40% the um, other technology part is 60% so that is the way it is arranged that's that's why the syllabus is mentioned that it is for computer science stream separately it is there for uh, uh, electronic stream mechanical stream civil stream combined there are also the way of uh, preparing the study materials based on that uh, way how they can work uh, mechanical engineers or uh, electrical electronics engineers how they contribute uh, 
can contribute uh, in that particular area. This is mainly for computer science students. Okay, so lungs. How the lungs purify the blood? That you should uh, tell and analyze how its biological principle has been adapted in the design of uh, artificial respiratory system. The lungs purify the blood. Okay, the marcation lung uh, function, blood purification, four marks. Uh, Adaptation in artificial respiratory system system that is six marks. So lungs purify blood by removing carbon dioxide, replenishing it with oxygen through the process of gas exchange in the alveoli, uh, which, uh, which ensures that oxygenated blood is circulated throughout the body. And artificial uh, respiratory system they have to adapt uh, the principle of natural lung function to provide uh, mechanical support, oxygenate the blood, and remove carbon dioxide in patient with. Uh, with uh, compromised respiratory function, incorporating inno innovations to enhance efficiency, biocompatibility, and patient quality of life. Okay, so uh, this represents the lung, and alveoli is there that is represented here, where the exchange takes place. Oxygen goes to blood, it takes the carbon dioxide, and uh, it goes to the heart for a uh, further pumping then it goes to the circulation from the circulation again uh, the blood uh, comes to uh, uh, comes to the lung for getting more oxygen okay so the anatomy uh, of uh, uh, lung lung has got uh, different parts okay protect by the ribs trachea is there bronchial is there alveolus is there diaphragm is there which controls that pumping lung is there lung as such represented so these are the parts uh, bronchus bronchioli alveolus are the main part okay so detailed explanation given in my video of 21 re 45 where i detailed explained so here i'm just connecting that different parts Trachea and bronchia that a uh, in pipe divides into two bronchi, each leading to leading to one lung, and uh, bronchioles and alveoli. The bronchi further divide into smaller bronchioles, ending in uh, clusters of alveoli, tiny air sacs where the gas exchange occurs. Alveolar capillary interfaces. Each alveolus is surrounded by a network of capillaries. Forming the site for gas exchange. So, a student, computer science student, should at least know the terms. These are the different way how it is arranged, so that it will be useful for them. Gas exchange process that uh, that you know already. Inhalation, uh, oxygen is taken uh, through nose as well as mouth. It passes through the trachea and bronchi to reach the alveoli. Finally, reaches the alveoli where the blood the kind of blood. Uh, Circulation it connected, uh, circ circulating blood circulated where it is that alveoli is connected. Diffusion of oxygen, uh, oxygen diffuses uh, from uh, the uh, alveoli to the blood, and uh, carbon dioxide is uh, exchanged. Okay, so that functioning not mentioned mentioned here. How that work not mentioned here. Next question, guys. Okay, now regulatory and efficiency, uh, ventilation, uh, perfusion, uh, matching, the distribution of air, the ventilation and the blood perfusion in the lung is regulated to maximize gas exchange efficiency. Mm -hmm. The large surface area of the alveoli and uh, the thinness of the alveolar capillary varies facilitate rapid and efficient gas exchange. That much a short note is more for four marks now adaptation in artificial respiratory system for six marks the mechanical ventilators the function of a mechanical ventilator modes of operation adaptation is given here ventilators they provide mechanical assistance to the patient who cannot breathe adequately on their own by delivering oxygen rich air to the lungs for removing the carbon dioxide ventilators can operate in various modes such as volume controlled pressure controlled assistant controlled to match the patient's respiratory needs and uh, mimic the natural breathing process by controlling the flow and pressure of air to ensure proper oxygenation and uh, and um, 
and uh, carbon dioxide removal. That is mechanical ventilators, which we see in the hospitals. If you go, uh, the, the big uh, setup uh, inside, uh, uh, which does this function, which does this function. Okay. Whereas ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenator, uh, ECMO it provides temporary life support for patient with uh, severe respiratory failure by circulating the blood through an uh, external uh, oxygen generator. The system include a pump to circulate blood and oxygenator to add up oxygen and uh, remove carbon dioxide and heart exchanges to maintain blood pressure. Uh, it replicates the gas exchange function of the lungs outside the body allowing the lungs to rest and heal while ensuring uh, adequate oxygenation in uh, blood. Okay, that, is, that you can see it is connected uh, externally by using a centrifugal pump uh, that it is pumped which is monitored uh, by a panel where what type of blood is coming, what is the requirement based on that the oxygenator will function and it will exchange the oxygen to the, the blood and uh, the red color shows that uh, it is a oxygenated blood it goes back okay that is the extra corporeal membrane system that i took from this particular website it cleanly explains the five parts the centrifugal pump oxygenator tube oxygen blender and the monitor panel everything cleanly mentioned in this particular website okay so uh, then artificial lens are also there uh, i took this image many different type of artificial uh, uh, models are there different companies make different uh, type of uh, artificial lens okay this is one uh, i took from this particular site that's why a reference is given uh, artificial lens such as uh, bioengineered lens or in, uh, implantable devices are designed to perform gas exchange functions similar to the natural lens uh, we have to use the uh, biocompatible material and uh, structures which mimic the alveolar capillary interface to facilitate efficient gas exchange or then we have oxygen concentrators oxygen concentrator if you type it in google you will get a n number of models so i took the schematic oxygen concentrator amazon it is available for 52000 40000 40000 i checked it okay oxygen concentrator they are portable devices which are which concentrate oxygen from ambient air and deliver it to patient with uh, uh, chronic respiratory conditions. They use uh, molecular sieves to separate uh, nitrogen from uh, oxygen providing a continuous supply of uh, high purity of oxygen. Okay, window, heavy rain is outside. Uh, provide a, a convenient and uh, reliable source of supplemental oxygen, enhancing uh, mobility and uh, quality of life for the patient. So how it, it work? Uh, schematically it is represented here. The future innovation and the future, uh, uh, we should have a portable ventilator, development of compact battery operated ventilator used in home care and emergency situations. Uh, required wearable artificial lens research needed so that uh, replace as such lens replacement artificial lens and we need to have uh, materials uh, research also required advanced biomaterial needed to create a material which can replace the the functioning of the lens exactly and a uh, lot of computer science experts required to to create coding based on the real time situation of a person uh, different aged persons and what are the real time situations based on that a lot of effort is required from the computer science engineering students to code it and kept it ready so that uh, just like how the artificial intelligence works in a uh, machine same artificially the lens also should work uh, listening to the brain okay that's about uh, uh, lens as a purification system for computer science engineering students Hope it was uh, quickly arranged. Okay, you can uh, note down the images are no need to draw. Okay, only the images are given to understand. The points you can note down so that you can uh, connect or answer the question asked on. Any question, uh, related question, what, what question can be asked? Okay, anyhow it is lung as a uh, purification system. Question will be straightforward how it can be connected so better question is given here uh, 
same CO4 connecting. Level 3 question is given here. Whatever level 1, level 2 questions comes, you can able to answer if you have this uh, study material with you. It, it will be the same. Whatever you are right, that will be the right. Thank you.